Hello, good morning, everybody. This is Eddie Sand, your optimistic marketer. And today, today, happy mon Monday, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about social media marketing and how you and your business can actually take advantage of this marketing shift. And that's coming up next. All right, good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. Hey, you know what? Oh, I don't have my phone with me because I don't have any extra phones, but I got to make sure that I am in the uh, right page. Because it's Monday, Monday, Mondays are the best days. How was your Mondays? I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, happy 4th of July, Independence Day. Uh, that was so awesome. Uh, I hope you guys got to see some fireworks. I know we did. And it was fun, 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 fun stuff. Lots of smoke. Lots of smoke. So good morning, everyone. If you're just joining me here live, I'm not seeing you just yet. But if you are, thank you so very much for being here with me. And uh, yeah, it is in the right place. Awesome. Cool beings. So yeah, good morning, good morning. Today, we are going to talk about social media marketing, how your business can actually take advantage of the marketing shift that's happening today, right now, in this moment. Yeah, the, the virtual marketing pushed um, that we are getting we're being pushed right into the virtual marketing place world basically and so you got to be ready you got to have you got to prepare you got to be ready you have to know how to expand your business online using social media and that's that's what i'm going to talk about today we're going to show you exactly what you need to do and start doing today so uh for those of you who are watching this recording or are here live with me um, as you may not know, but I am actually recording this in multiple locations. So in a moment here, we're going to go to Instagram, right? And so you're going to see me, uh, introduce myself again, but, uh, that's what I do. That's what's, that's what it's all about. Happy Monday. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. All right. So here we go. Let's go and introduce, uh, myself to Instagram. Hey everybody, this is Eddie Sand, your optimistic marketer, and today we're going to talk about social media marketing, how your business can take advantage of this marketing shift happening today. That's coming up next. All right, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, marketing shift and all that good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and uh, be very specific about what you need to do today with your business. As many of you know, Oh, here's my coffee, by the way. Again, um, this this show, this this show, <laughs> I call it a show, I guess, um, episode, whatever you want to call it, this Facebook Live episodes, it all started because I used to do coffee with Eddie many, many months, many years ago, and I did it for a while, and um, I was inspired and challenged to do it, and I'm doing them. So for the past three months, I basically being here live with you and my ultimate goal is to give you the marketing techniques and some ideas on how you can take your business online, expand your business online using social media marketing and the specific um, changes, the marketing shift that's happening right now today, how you can take advantage of that opportunity. And that's my main objective here. So um, let me drink some of my coffee because again, it's, it's coffee. It's like, hmm. Oh, I love my coffee. Coffee's good. Good coffee. So good morning, everybody. Thank you so much again for joining me live here and for you uh, watching the recording. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and dive into what I have for you today. So uh, a couple of things. This is my, um, I'm going to call this my second season. Uh, I've been doing this, this videos for the past three months. Uh, and it all started because of the global situation that obviously we all know and how it affected and impacted our small business community. And so I decided to just give back by giving you the, the techniques and ideas on start to how to do uh, virtual marketing, how to actually dive in into virtual marketing uh, world and how to expand your business. So how to get more eyes on your business, it's, that's what it's all about. And what was happening is at the beginning, about three months ago or so, I started telling everyone to go live go live, stream, do live videos, stream live videos. 
And that right now, I can tell you that it is still the number one thing you want to do. It, I, it hasn't changed. Actually, the fact, the stats is that f- since January of this year up to June last month, there has been an increase, 50% increase in live streaming uh, engagements and views because obviously, right, everyone is looking for content to consume. So you have an opportunity, but there is a way to do it. And the way that you want to go through is what I call a digital marketing path. Uh, If you're going to do it this way, it's going to work more effectively. Uh, We have had viewers who have uh, done this and have taken action and gotten results right away. Um, I can think of Steve. He, He has been the one who's gotten the quickest results within the first week. Uh, he already had multiple projects, and uh, then we have um, uh, the, the, the um, uh, what do you call it? The facial uh, spa uh, person, right, Martha? I, I'm trying to think what what I named you right now. I can't think about it right now, but but uh, daring beauty, daring beauty. So she actually did it, and she's going into her second month now. And get this, she is now being interviewed by local radio stations as well. So it's like, th- these people are so amazing. You know, they're, they've got great content. They're giving with what they have. They're giving of what they have and who they are, and they are being noticed. So the local media now, same thing happened to Steve. He became the internet sensation or internet, uh, local media, lo- local internet person. I can he calls it something, but, it's working, okay? And then there's so many of you others that, that are doing this. Here's the key, all right? Key is that you need people to know you, you need people to like you, and you need them. You have to be patient. You need to have them trust you before you can open up the offers that you have, all right? That's the process. Now, I can tell you, last year, if you would have asked me, How effective is live streaming? And can I do this process? Like how quickly uh, uh, can you get results? I would have told you it'll take at least three months, six months. I mean, you're going to get start to see results right now because of this marketing shift, this social media marketing shift that we're going through right now, you're going to get results way quicker, quicker. Again, Steve, one week, uh, uh, one month already uh, for, for, um, um, Darren Beauty. Why do I keep forgetting her name? That's her nickname, of course, on, on Facebook. You can look her up. So all these people are getting their results quicker than ever before. Live videos, live stream, get on it. Do it, do it now. Okay. Now, because of the marketing shift, here's the attitude you're going to have to have. You got to go live. You got to give so that you can get. That's the way you got to do it. Don't go out there and start doing live videos and start to get, want to get people to sign up and to buy and to do this. Don't do that. Be careful. Be careful because it still works the same way, right? The engagement part is what's important right here, right now. It's not so much you advertising, you know, 50% off of whatever, you know, it's, it's, that's old school. I will say maybe it's going to work maybe next year when all these things relax, what we're going through. But right now, seriously, get in the game of giving, provide content, get them to like you, and then eventually they'll trust you enough to ask you because that's exactly what's happening, right? So again, I was I was talking yesterday to Martha and, and she told me she is now getting questions about the products that she has. How cool. She's now being, she's getting requests on videos, the live video shows that she, uh, the, the people, the audience wants to see, wants to watch, wants to learn. She is now becoming the go-to person in her industry, you see? And it's only been a month. Uh, she's now going to her second month. So what's important here, hmm, what's important for you to know is that If you're going to make this work, one thing is you got to be consistent. You've got to have a lot of content. Um, Again, I've been going live every single day for the past three months. 
and I will continue to do so until further notice. All right. So because again, the situation and the opportunities uh, has me positioned at, at the right place and at the right time. And it will happen to you the same way if only if you have more content out there. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, I know that someone text, texted me this weekend, uh, a friend of mine, and he basically said, hey, I, I get, I keep seeing you on, on, on my, on my Facebook feeds. I'm like, yo, that's good. <laughs> that's a good thing. You know, because it, I have so much content out there. It's now starting to show you can do the same thing. So a minimum, a minimum of three live videos per week. It's good. Okay. Write that down three minimum, because if you do anything less, chances are that your go your content will go out there and yes, people may see it, but then you're going to have to rely on paying a lot of money for boosting that video where you can actually just create more content and have a better, better results with boosting later on as well. I'll talk about that possibly tomorrow. If you come back, I'll show you, share with you some stuff, but, uh, but yeah, so you've got to go consistent. You gotta be consistent with that. Now, um, Steve, for example, he started, uh, every single day, like six, six days a week. Martha did three, she's doing three or four a day, but then there are some people who have watched the same information and they're doing one twice, you know, they're hit and miss and they're not seeing the results either. And I will tell you the reason why, again, I personally started doing this was to give back to the business community so that you guys can actually expand your business online, get it going with social media marketing right now, live streaming, right? Number one. And I did it because a, a good friend of mine, mentor of mine, Joey, right? He asked me, he said, uh, one day we were talking and he told me some stories about someone else, some of his friends and mentors who are doing this, who've been doing it for years. And it was about going live or doing videos. Uh, and, and I thought, you know what? I'll go ahead. And he said something that got me going. He basically said, you're going to have to, you're going to have to decide. You're going to have to decide to go and do this. Well, Cause I was telling him about going live. You're going to have to decide to, to show up basically and do it. So you have to commit, right. And you've got to show up. And I thought, you know what? Stepping up is what I'll do and showing up is what I've decided to do. So I think that was on a Wednesday. And then on that Friday, I went live and it's been three months since then, every single day, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Mr. Standard Time, 7 a.m. Pacific. I'll be here until further notice. So anyway, so I did that and everyone who has followed what I, how I started has gotten the results, right? So. You've got to understand if you're going to go and do this, commit it that listen, let me give you another story. I don't care what you think. If this is the right thing or the wrong thing, maybe even you think you don't have time. Maybe you're thinking, you know what? I don't rely on that right now. I have other money going to marketing and advertising some, somewhere else. Okay. I get it. If it's not broken, don't fix it. I get all that stuff, especially for business owners. I have personally. I know people, business owners who, if it's not broken, they won't fix it. However, they're always planning. They're always prepared. So I understand you may have preparations and plan, but can I tell you something? You've got to go live. I mean, if you don't have that in your marketing plan right now, you have to add it, add it now, whether it's you as a CEO, as the manager, as the business owner to go live, or whether it's a team of people that you have in your marketing department, pick one, pick a face, right? One person that's going to be the face for your business, but you've got to go live. All right. I'm going to tell you this story. Why am I going to, why do I believe going live is the thing? Well, I see it. Now I see it after three months. Now I see that it was the right choice. Three months ago, I said it. Now I can see that it's happening. It's good. And not only with myself and people that are watching some of my clients, you know, it's not because of their results so much as it is as the news, the media, uh, you know, what's happening in the world in the, in the change, the marketplace, I can see things now. So check this out a few years ago, uh, a CEO, big shot CEO of T-Mobile. Okay. That was about seven years ago. Or so 
Hey, by the way, uh, John Legere, if you're watching this, uh, again, great job with what you did, how you took that company to a whole nother level. So cool. Um, anyway, so back then, John Legere, he started, he started as the CEO of the company, T-Mobile. T-Mobile was not doing the best. And I remember, I remember turning on Periscope, but because back then, if you recall, Periscope and uh, Meerkat, they were they were fighting, right? They were one was the platform to be in, and then Periscope came in, and so and of course Meerkat, you don't even know what Meerkat. If you don't know what Meerkat was, yeah, because they're they're not in business anymore, right? But there was the same thing as Periscope. There was a, a platform to go live. Think of it, uh, it was like a TikTok without the music. That's what Meerkat was. So anyway, so. So John decided to use Periscope and the connection with Periscope and Twitter, that was the transformation right there. And he started to do, go live. He went live very often. Now get this. I'm telling you the story because listen to me. A CEO of a huge company, T-Mobile, who came in to make a change, a transformation in the industry. Don't you think he was busy? I mean, come on, CEO of the company, please. So there, there's your excuse of not having time. But then the other thing is this, that when he went live, he used, see, live videos. And it was the engagement. The engagement was so unique, so personable. Never, well, I, I'm not going to say never because uh, I don't know the history so much about that, but I cannot remember personally me looking at the CEO of a company and engaging with that person, engaging in having that real conversations, even though it was live feed, it was live feed messages, and but he would take the time to read every single message or at least as many as he could. Uh, he would either joke around or, or sometimes, uh, <laughs> it was so funny, sometimes uh, people from Verizon or some other companies would jump in and start, you know how it is, right? Downplay the, the whole thing that he was doing and and so but you know what he he talked directly to them it was it was the coolest thing to just see that type of engagement from a ceo live streaming periscope all right well what happened he then moved on it was off he went often by the way it was very consistent he kept doing it every single week so he would got he would have hundreds sometimes thousands of people watching him because he was very consistent same, I mean, it was, it was great, but get this other thing too. So when he did these videos, he then started to give things away. He started to give away phones. He would tell someone from Verizon, Hey, move with us. We know, uh, we'll give you, uh, get my team will get connect with you and they'll give you this uh, free phone. Some, some crazy stuff like t-shirts. Um, you know how he dresses. If you know John Legere from T-Mobile, look him up if you don't. But if you do, you know he dresses up all with T-Mobile stuff. Everything was, that's another thing. Everything was a brand. So anyway, so he kept going and going and going. So for seven years, I mean, now you see what happened. I mean, that, that company is just, it took over. It, it flipped the whole industry, mobile industry. And all it took was the CEO of the company to go live and to engage with his marketplace. That's it. Do you not think right now, in the times that we're living in, in the situations that we're going through, do you not think if you go live consistently for your, or within your marketplace, that you're not gonna get the same results? Absolutely. Look, again, there is no excuse. You can be the CEO of a huge company you can do what John Legere do, did, or you can have a face, someone, right, within your uh, company, within your business, and choose them. And and, I, and by the way, hey, Cecil, good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. I'm um, so glad that you made it here. Uh, it's Monday. What, what, you, what you doing? Oh, is it like a break? I think it's a break, right? So anyway, so point is this. Why do I say keep saying a face? You, you heard me that say that a few times now. Because... Think, I want you to think back to, to Verizon. Do you remember that dude that used to wear glasses, black jacket, and he used to go around the whole country, it seemed like, and he used to say, uh, can you hear me now? Good. 
Can you hear me now? Good. You remember that guy? All right. That was Horizon, right? That was the face. So it was a very personal connection for the company that you will have with this guy. I still remember the guy. You probably still do. As a matter of fact, um, how about uh, who was the other person? So we have John Legere. He was the guy that he became the face. But before John Legere happened, uh, they had this girl. This girl, and of course, you know, that was like, eh. <laughs> it was okay. But, but John Legere became the face of that. Um, and think back to any other type of business that a successful business that they put a face with their brand, right? With their business. Well, that's what you want to do. That's the purpose of going live. The reason why you want to jump into this marketing shift that's happening right now. And the reason why you want to follow this digital marketing path is for the reason of branding, making a connection between who you are and your business. And people are going to remember you. If they like you, they'll start trusting you and they'll remember where to go for their needs, for their wants. They'll, you'll become the go-to business in your industry. It takes effort because I get it. We're all busy. We all have a lot of things to do. Consistency is the key. Jump in right now. There's never been a time like this before, and I cannot tell you how long, how much longer are we going to go through this opportunity, but it's a huge, huge wave of opportunity. You got to jump in, dive in and jump in and go for it. Even if you have no idea what you're going to talk about, go live. And that's what you go say. <laughs> say, hey, some crazy dude named Eddie told me to go live. I'm here doing the live video. So here I am. Hope everybody's been doing good. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace. I don't care. Just do something because as, as often as you go live, the better you're going to get. And that's ex everyone has gone through the same process. Everyone has gone through the same thing. All right. So good stuff. Uh, yeah, look, Cecil is saying no like and trust. Exactly. It's, it's the fundamentals. Oh, power is over. Oh, man. Okay. Well, yeah, man, but Cecil, like Cecil is saying right now, Cecil is saying that it's the, fun, it's, the, it's the fundamentals of marketing, but you've got to make sure that you do it right when you go online. So that's what I have for you guys. Now, um, I'll leave you with this. So as you know, the situation this month with Facebook um, advertisers or the promotions, uh, all these people stopped basically paying all these companies, the big companies. They're not going to pay this month for advertising to Facebook. You know, I know what I, I read the stories. I read this news, you know, really, honestly, I don't care about why they're doing it really as much as I care about their reaction, their response to the situation, which is fine. Right. But get this. You have an opportunity. See, it, I, it, there is, whenever there is a challenge, whenever there's a challenge, there's always opportunity. So you can either focus on the challenge, focus on why they did it, how they did it, and all the situation going on, you know, or focus on the big opportunity. And what's the big opportunity? The big companies are not on Facebook this month. Hello, you better start paying for some type of uh, views. <laughs> Boost those, boost the videos that you have done, boost them as much as you can, because the, you're now going to have a lot more space on the Facebook feeds for someone to see your business, to see you and to connect you with your business. Make sense? So jump in now, do it today. Don't miss out. This is a huge, this is bigger than when I first started three months ago. This month, month of July is huge. It's big. Go after it. All right. So that's what I have for you now. Thank you so much for everyone. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. If I didn't uh, get to see you and say hi to you, good morning. I know there's a delay on my messages and things like that. And, but of course, uh, for those of you who are not watching me on Facebook live, uh, tomorrow you may want to join me on Facebook live. <laughs> if you're not watching me on Facebook live, because tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you behind the scenes. I'm going to show you my screen 
on some of the techniques that you need to start using right now so that you can get more eyes on your business using social media advertising. Specifically, tomorrow we'll go with Facebook. Okay. By the way, Facebook is the place to go. If you don't have an idea about your marketplace, if you don't know who your marketplace is, Facebook is it. If you know your marketplace, if you know the demographics, but you want more information, Facebook is the place. <laughs> You're going to get so much data from Facebook. Facebook knows a lot, which is scary, but they know a lot about your marketplace. Go there and start and do it. Get it done. All right, cool. Everybody, thank you so much again for joining me live and for watching uh, the recording. I do appreciate it. Um, take, take an opportunity. If you do happen to make it live to one of my shows, go ahead and do that because sometimes like Cecil right now, for example, he's engaging with me. Martha is right here as well. Um, so many of you may have just a specific question about my my crazy ideas that I keep giving you and also the situation that is happening right now with this marketing shift. So if you have questions or if you want to comment, come live and we'll be here together. Cool. All right. Till tomorrow. Thank you, everybody. Stay cool. Stay calm. Keep up sound mind. Peace.